is this is Nick Nielsen, Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you today here is a quick review of the Tonker Foldable Trampoline. Now this is just a small rebounder, and if you've never used a rebounder before, it's very simple. Basically, it's like a little mini tramp, about three feet across. The idea here is to basically just stand in one place and bounce. You're not doing any acrobatics, you're not doing any fancy maneuvering. The idea of this basically is to just stand on it and bounce, which gets your lymph uh, flowing more rapidly, helps with recovery, helps with circulation, helps with a wide variety of things. You can actually get good warm-up and cardio from it as well just by doing a simple bounce. Now you can do uh, two-legged bounce, you can bounce high, you can bounce low. Uh, don't bounce on your knees, don't do butt drops, don't do anything fancy. Like I said, this is not about acrobatics, this is just very simple rebounding. Now, this version of the Matramp, the rebounder, is foldable. As you can see, I've got it actually folded in half already. Now this actually folds even more once you take the legs off. So I didn't want to take all the legs off because that takes a bit more time. But as you can see, this will actually fold up directly in half, which allows you for a more space-saving uh, trampoline. Because trampolines just in general, these, even these relatively small ones are kind of bulky. So what you do with this one is once it's folded up, you just unfold it and it snaps down into position. Now, you can unscrew all these feet, unscrew all these legs. It's very simple. It just screws right on like so. Now, in terms of durability and how much weight this will take, this will take over 300 pounds of body weight. So, you're, uh, you should be able to uh, get a lot out of this one. I think, I think it might be 350 pounds, come to think of it. So it actually has a pretty substantial capacity. And all you need to do, screw the legs on tight. Once it's on, set it down flat. <clears throat> now, you always want to make sure that you're stepping in the center. I'm wearing shoes right now, but when you're using these, you actually want to take your shoes off. So better to be uh, just in sock feet as you're doing a rebounding exercise. You don't want to damage the surface of this by wearing shoes or any sort of um, footwear. <laughs> High heels, for example. Now, as you can see, the rebounding surface right here, you want to stick right in the middle of that. That's where you're going to get the best bang for your buck, essentially. Now, with this one, you basically step on and then you start bouncing. And literally, that's all you're doing. Now, if you heard that little noise there, that's what happens when you get a little bit too close to the spring. It might make a little noise, but I haven't found any issues as far as durability or strength with this. I've been using this for warming up and for cooling down here for a while now, and uh, I really like it. It's nice and solid steel on here. The joints are stable as well. Again, stay in the center of this. The springs are nicely uh, built. This is a really good piece of equipment. Um, it's not going to be something that everybody is going to want to use, like some people just don't want to bounce up and down. That's just kind of the long and short of it. But as far as getting a nice warm up in, a very low impact cardio training even, this is a great way to go. You can do double bounce, you can bounce high, you can bounce very, very low, you can even do single leg bouncing, two bounce, one leg, you can do jogging in place. This is a great way to get low impact warming up or cardio training. And in particular, this piece of equipment, because it folds up into a small position, um, it's great for traveling. Um, you know, I'm sure that you're going to take it on an airplane, but what you can do is fold it up, take the legs off, pack it all into a vehicle very, very easily. So obviously you're not going to travel with this in an expanded form like a big trampoline, but when you fold it down, it actually folds down into a very reasonable size. and. Um, Bottom line, um, if you're looking for a rebounder and you don't potentially always have a big footprint for a rebounder, this is a nice way to go. You can collapse it down and it takes up a lot less floor space. So again, this is the Tonker rebounder, collapsible rebounder, foldable rebounder. <laughs> Enjoy.